Somebody got a band-aid because our budget just got cut. Yeah, you might not know, but we're in marching band. I'm in marching band, and uh, well, I, although we don't usually get much money from the school itself, we will no longer be able to take buses to our competitions. Everybody's just gonna have to carpool, and yeah, you know, we have to pay money for gas, but it's just, it's more of an inconvenience for us. Well, my program, FFA, or otherwise known as Future Farmers of America, no longer has funding by the district and the state. So we have to raise our own money for the program and we have to pay our own teacher out of our funding money. Budget cuts don't directly affect me. Also, the class sizes getting larger doesn't really make a difference to me. But it uh, makes a difference to my mom because rising class sizes makes um, makes her job harder because she's a teacher. Also, it seems like every year the expenses of sports and other extracurricular activities keeps going up and it really sucks. There's more students in the classroom. I think that's distracting because I feel like I've learned it in a smaller student environment. The whole classroom side thing doesn't bother me, but I know in the music departments we've had to, you know, we've had to quadruple the amount of fundraising we do, even just to like make normal things happen, not even do anything extra. In my science class I had to pay for workbooks and other materials, and it's kind of been a hassle to pay for stuff since it's supposed to be a free education. Taking off the buses, and in a lot of cases that's, you know, a student's only option to get to school. You know, there's carpooling for some people. But in a lot of cases, that's not really possible. I'm taking AP Lit next year, and word on the street is there's only going to be two periods. And since there's like 60 kids signed up, or a bajillion kids signed up, there could be like 40 to 50 kids in each period. And that's unfair to everyone in the room, and it's unfair to Mr. Graber, too, to have to teach with uh, that many kids in the room, and I'm not going to get as much one-on-one -on -one teacher time. Um, well, I'm in choir, and Mrs. Gray actually today was talking about the budget cuts, and if we don't get enough kids in our classes, they're either going to cut some classes, or she's going to have to teach at other schools as well, taking away from our time. I would say I'm affected by uh, biology. We don't get to do much in the way of labs anymore. We don't have the money to do it. We have to partner up on everything. We can't go on field trips. It's really taking a toll on everyone. Well, uh... My dad's a teacher, he teaches at Twin Peaks Middle School, so uh, he's affected because he's not getting paid as much, and that in turn has affected me. And if I was a, like a freshman or a sophomore, like last, last, my first two years of high school, I would have to take the bus, but luckily I drive. But if it was then, I wouldn't really have a way to get to school. I, don't know, I feel like when I have budget cuts, I cut some of like, the young teachers and some of the best teachers, in my opinion. <laughs> You know, personally, I wouldn't like anything to get cut because, you know, everybody has their different interests that they have. Like, for me, I'm in band and, you know, I wouldn't want that to be cut by somebody, let's say, who's in football, would say to cut band just so they could have their own thing. But, so, I, I wouldn't want to cut anything. Well, because there's other programs that allow one to, like, become different from other people, if we cut those programs, everybody will just be the same, you know, the same stuff. Just do it. There's always going to be problems with the budget because uh, the state of California is just in so much debt. So I don't know if there's really anything we can do as students. Well, I think, you know, I, I don't know much about economics, but uh, I'm pretty sure we're spending money on stuff that we don't need to spend. I mean, I looked in the video and it said we're spending a lot of money on prison and uh, tax relief for big companies. We're doing that. So I think it really needs to come down to what the government is doing up in Sacramento, try and find ways to make money there and lay off people there, I guess, because it doesn't seem to be trickling down to the money pile in Bowie. You know, eventually something will happen where we will need to stimulate the economy and we can get to the root of the problem. I think that even though we're having a lot of tough economic times, especially in California, that the education programs um, in our state should definitely be the last thing that should be cut because they really provide for our future and they're 
educating our youth. And we're going to be less educated, we're going to have less opportunities if we keep on cutting money from our school budgets. It doesn't really matter how much you tax the people if, they don't, if they're not spending it the right way, then it's not going to help. I think there's always going to be things that we can spend less on and then spend more on other things. The, the problem is, is that there's always going to be arguments over which things are more important than others, and I think that's the toughest part. I mean, everyone's all for changing the budget and, and reorganizing our, our money and reallocating it, but I think the biggest problem is trying to figure out which stuff is most important. Budget cuts suck.